Have you ever thought about those important documents, pictures and videos we don't want to lose? What do we do to secure them? We make their copies and secure them into hard drives or upload them onto a secure cloud-based network. But what is the most precious thing we have? It's our self. Our own self is the most important thing we could possibly have. But eventually, human consciousness is bound with the meat suit we wear all our life. And when this meat suit stops working, the game comes to an end. Over 100 billion people have been born since the dawn of human race, but eventually they all died. There were no way to keep them alive or at least keeping their mind alive. But in today's world, technological advancements are crushing all the limitations humans ever had. And now we are trying to make digital copies of human mind. So the question is, is it possible to upload human mind? How far we are to achieve this technology? And how the world would be once we achieve this post-biological consciousness? You are watching, is it possible? And uploading a human brain is technically possible. All the information in our brain is encoded or stored in the synaptic connections between neurons and if we somehow replicate the structure of your brain onto an artificial neural network, hypothetically, it will be a digital copy of yourself. And once we achieve that, you will be able to install the copy of yourself or the digital version of other people, including dead people, onto your phone. And continue talking with them like we talk to Siri or Alexa these days. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Hi. How you doing? We might be able to get our loved ones back into the physical world after they die. And those who cannot afford these realistic robotic bodies, they can get a hyper-realistic digital avatar same as these AI-powered neon assistants Samsung is developing. They look real too, right? There are tremendous possibilities how these people can contribute in the society without fear of getting died or tired. This will increase their experience and productivity. They will also be very helpful with space explorations since there will be no need for food and oxygen for them. And if one of them is not working efficiently, we can simply send another through wireless signals and it will stall in a synthetic body and start working. There are two major difficulties in this technology right now. Because on average, there are more than 100 billion neurons working inside an average human brain. And there are trillions of connections between these neurons. So scanning of single human brain will have to require decades of precise mapping with thousands of electron microscopes without damaging or roasting brain cells with a beam of electrons. Also. Single human brain has estimated storage space of 2.5 million gigabytes. That will require a lot of storage space. And since just in 60 years, if we can come from this to this, I have a strong faith in the future. Stephen Hawking said that it is possible. And Ray Kurzweil, who is a leading futurist, thinks that we are only 40 years away from doing this. Scientists have successfully mapped a cubic millimeter of mice brain in 2019. So we can say that we have only few decades away from seeing some progress. The new digital society will grow in time and sooner they will outnumber us, the biological humans. Does it mean that our race will be in danger? Will they start to rule our world?
or humans will only be used for reproduction of new consciousness in our lab. We will consider this possibility in another. Is it possible?